Prater on to add the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Here's Prater now set to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Now comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, Hey, listen, there's got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Wedge, and he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. And the Seahawks on third down. They're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This will be third and five. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And he finds Jimmy Graham. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They run. Lynch. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And here comes play number six on this drive. Second and ten. It's Wilson again. Over the middle to back him. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And the Seahawks on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This time they face a third and two. They snap it at one. Now Wilson. And Wilson has it. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. One Wilson to another for a Seahawk first down. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. Now Lynch, left side. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Back-to-back -back stops, make it third and ten. No gain on that run, and while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. 
Well, that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. Yeah, and on third down, maybe it said, forget about the sticks. We want six. And Carpenter knocks it through, and the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So they were able to move the ball into the red zone, but they'll wind up coming away with just three. Yeah, 32-yarder. That's equal to an extra point nowadays, and those are no problem for an NFL kicker. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one. This is taken near the 13. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by the all-pro free safety, Earl Thomas. Well, they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and saying, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give them a lot of confidence to help turn things around. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. They go play action with Wilson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. On Al Beckham, 81 yards. And the Seahawks are able to cut into that deficit. Charles, there aren't really any slow receivers, but there's fast and then really fast. He's really fast, and he showed off the afterburners there. And that he is because when he took off, I was thinking there's no chance that he could actually reach him with that pass. Yet he did, and he's still sprinting. And just think about what that does for everyone else on his team because his ability to stretch a field opens things up for the rest of the receivers on the team. Carpenter now for the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. The quick strike ability certainly intact there. Two plays, 80 yards to score. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken about the 12. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. Now, last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. Now a handoff looking right. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 
A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. Try the right side here. And no room that time. Getting it to about the 46. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. And now here's a carry heading left. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. But now they're in a spot that every team tells us when we have our production means they don't want to be in third and long. And that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. Caught on the right side by Jones. And a nice gain of 21 yards. out here on the play clock. Stafford now to throw. Ebron with it over the middle. 11 more on that one and another first down. We always hear from coaches how much they like to run crossing routes because they want to hit their receivers on the go, get them the ball and keep them moving. How about when you hit a tight end that way? Okay, the receivers are going to run past you most of the time. The tight end, they can do their damage. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Theo Riddick, 22 yards, and the Lions add on to their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. Now Prater to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Here's Prater now set to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Odell Beckham now marching back onto the field. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, make, you do. You get you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. Well, the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside. Make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him and the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's the Seahawks with possession of the football, but they do trail here to begin quarter number four. And the Seahawks on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and nine. Wilson. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. 
And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Give him nine on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. They'll run for it. Lynch. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and they're able to convert here on fourth and inches. Wow. That one took some guts. If this doesn't work, you're handling an incredible field position, but this head coach is undaunted, and he makes the call to go for it, and I'll be darned if they don't get the first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. Shoves him aside. They'll wind up losing a full ten yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. And here comes play number six on this drive. Third and long, it's Wilson. He's going to look deep down the field. And a shot taken on third down, unsuccessful. Fourth down now. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. Wiggles free. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Ziggy Ansah in there to get him for his second sack of the night. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. And he'll give it here to his running back. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Only a yard on the pickup. And now they've got a third down and eight. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And he'll be brought down, but a tip of the cap on the spin move as that gives him a first down. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Play clock winding down. Now a handoff as they run left side. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back. He's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, what a great performance so far. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. A live ball here. And look out. I think he's going to go. He's at the 40. Past the 20. 10. And he takes it the distance across the goal line for two points. You and I have been around teams, and they all have goals for games, don't they? And every team we've ever talked to says what? No turnover. <laughs> Don't turn the ball over. Zero. And they were that close to getting it done. Won't cost them today, but they'll hate that when they're watching the game tape. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. 
And now back out comes the offense. And this one not officially in the bag, but it's looking more and more like you and I are going to be in these same seats next week for a game to go to the Super Bowl. And it's contrary to our meeting with, with the visitors, wasn't it? Remember when we went over to their hotel before the game, and one of the themes they kept hitting us with was, Let's put the pressure on the number one seed and see if they can handle it. Let's let's do that. Well, they're the number one seed for a reason. Best team all year long. They're showing it again in this game. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Second and ten now, Wilson. They'll set up the screen to Lynch. They'll wind up getting ten back as that sets them up for third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. They're looking at third and a few inches. Wilson now operating from the gun. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Running for it, here's Lynch. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll give the Seahawks a first down. And this is where an offensive lineman really earns a living. You're on your own side of the field, but you only need a few inches, and you saw the good blocking at the point of attack. That is a well-earned first down. Now Wilson on first down. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. To here, Whitehead. The outside linebacker drops him for a loss of six. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Now Wilson on second down. They set up the screen to Lynch. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. And here comes play number six on this drive. On third down, Wilson. And he's got Lockett. And he is going to be knocked flat on his back. Oh, a big hit at the 29. And he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And Graham's got it over the middle. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. 
second and one and people want to run the football, this is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Yeah, they run with a backup. This is Thomas Rawls. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. A run here with Lynch. Oh, and he will not be denied. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Marshawn Lynch with his second touchdown of the night. And the Seahawks are able to close the gap just a bit. Now he's doing his part, but still facing a sizable deficit. And he would like to do more, but he needs help from the other two-thirds, right? He needs his defense to bow up a little bit, and he also needs special teams to maybe create some big plays and help them get back in it. Now we've got whistles and movement up front. I think this is against Seattle. False start, offense. Well, that changes things, obviously. They can elect to bring the kicking team out now and try it from the 20 if they want. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if they did exactly that. Going for two from the seven versus kicking it from the 20, I like my odds better with my kicker. To throw is Wilson. From the gun, he'll throw to the sideline. And wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. down at Stafford. Shedding through the defense. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. It's the Pro Bowl quarterback, Richard Sherman. That is the play they needed in a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. No doubt about it. They did what they had to do to give themselves a chance to get back into the game. They turned it over to the offense. They are now in charge. Now they need to execute. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. After the interception, here's Wilson. He hits Baldwin right side. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Decent start there to the drive. Big hill to climb, needing two touchdowns, also a two two-point conversion. So, partner, how do you eat an elephant? I don't eat an elephant. <laughs> Who eats elephants? Well, if you do, you do it one bite at a time. Okay. That's the way they've got to play this, one okay. play at a time. Yes, there's urgency, but they have to be careful as well. Let's go with like a 50-ounce ribeye. Yeah. One, one bite at a time. All right, I'm with you. A good pick up there. Eight yards of the first down completion. Now, that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Here's Wilson. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Third and two, now Wilson. And it's caught. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Go 
Throwing again here, Wilson. And pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Marshawn Lynch saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Seahawks capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Now a toss coming right side. It's Lynch, and he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. A very pivotal two-point try that does not go their way. Now it's a big uphill battle for the rest of the fourth quarter. The attempt was to try and make it a one-score game, right? Touchdown, get two, now you've tied it up. Instead, they don't get it, still down ten. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Defensively, no doubt they need a quick stop. Offensively here, maybe do you put it in the air on second down, or do you go ahead and keep it on the ground, keep that clock moving? A lot of people would ask that question, partner, because sometimes throwing the ball might actually be the path of least resistance. But in this case, it's a matter of trust. How much do you trust your quarterback? Because you throw the ball and it goes awry, you really don't look smart as a coach. Yeah, and then you stop that clock. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Now a handoff looking right. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And now right out of the two-minute break, We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. The Lions on third down. They've been really good converting seven of their ten tries. This is third and four. And now here's a carry heading left. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So with that miss, Charles, you have to figure their fate. It might be sealed. Yeah, you needed two scores. So you take the field goal first and then worry about getting the ball back. But that may not matter now. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Ezekiel Ansah in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Now Wilson. It's caught outright by Graham. And he'll go 
come down right around the 47 this time. And they'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. Wilson to throw. Oh, he's got a little daylight. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. After that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Here's Wilson. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. First down now, but that clock rolling. And at 50 seconds left, he'll spike it to stop the clock. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. On second down, Wilson. Out to the right here to Wilson. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. To throw again is Wilson. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So with under 30 seconds to play, this is the game right here. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. And that's why you have your hand team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. And the Lions will take the knee here with victory in the cards. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. They go down to a knee, and with that, they're off to the NFC title game. And they're moving on to the conference championship. How about this? What a tremendous feeling to get to the game that can get you to the Super Bowl. A fantastic season. Unfortunately for the other team, a tough, tough way for it to end.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Seattle.